What up, everybody? You are looking at the smartest person you know. I mean, the part of, you're looking at the smartest person you've seen in a long time, probably, because that's me. Now, the reason is, whenever the news story comes out, or even when my kids come to me and they have a disagreement about something, I know right away who's right and who's wrong based on the first person that comes to tell me. I mean, I listen to the first person because the first person always right. Their story's always right. The way they put it together is always right. I have no need to hear the second person because the first person's always right. Nah, don't, don't click off the screen. I am kidding. Let me explain. Hello everybody, Mr. Brown Proclaim Ministries, helping you connect faith and life. And please don't believe what I just said a minute ago, but believe everything I say from this point on. <laughs> I, I made that point because, you know, we live in a world today where the news cycles run so quickly and the reports come out so quickly. And many of us make up our minds about what is true and what's false based on the first hearing of the story. And the Proverbs speak against that. The Bible says they're not very wise. And somebody asked me the other day, how come I haven't spoken out about a lot of stuff lately? How come I haven't spoken about, about George Floyd or uh, systematic racism or especially individual cases that you hear about in the news? And the reason is, number one, I don't have all information. I don't have all information to make a statement. Do I believe there's sin in the world? Yes, sin is in the world. Sin is live and present in the world. And it shows itself in all kinds of ways. But I've learned a long time ago. Working with kids when I was working in after school programs or even have my own kids. You don't always hear the first story and believe it. You have to take some time to listen. The Bible says, and let's turn your Bibles real quick to, to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 17. This is what it says. The one who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. The one who states his case first seems right until the other comes comes and examines him. Now, I read this in the NIV as well. That was the English Standard Version, but the NIV puts it in a different way, and I like it because it kind of puts it in the court case. And I don't know the Greek. My wife, she's the Greek scholar. She knows all that, but the NIV, if I can find it in my phone. Come on, NIV. Where you hiding at now, NIV? Here we go. NIV. NIV reads it this way. New International Version says this. In a lawsuit, the first who speaks seems right until someone comes forward and cross-examines. I like that idea because I watch a lot of court drama. I like Madlock. I like, you know, even Bull, the new run out. I like to, to see the court case, right? And I will be honest, right now, a lot of stuff is coming out and we're jumping to conclusions. We're jumping to, to just judge people. I see a lot of Facebook posts, even from my friends. And I'm thinking, whoa, we need to slow down a little bit because you don't know all the situation. Even though you see a, a clip, I mean, these video clips can be very telling. But it's interesting how they leave so much out. I saw one where, you know, people were upset about the way these cops arrested this, this guy. And they were saying, why, why, why? Well, when the whole tape was released, you see why. He would not listen. And so I, I'm not trying to get on anybody's side. What I want to say is this. I want to, and I want to encourage you to listen to this proverb. Don't just jump on the bandwagon from the first report you see, even though the video clip can be very telling. And, 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 and be careful with the news you listen to and, and how you listen to it. Because look, you can Google one story. And if you just look at all the ways it's reported, everybody's got their bent. And here's the reality. They are paid to get you to read their story. They're going to make it most centralized since, since you know, they're going to make it more entertaining. Sensationalism. Yes, what it is. They're going to make it that way so you read it. But be careful. Wait until the other point is cross-examined. Wait until more information comes out before you just start spouting off all kind of stuff. Because the sad thing is this. Many of us don't like to taste the leather. I don't like to taste the leather either. Like, you know, putting your foot in your mouth. But we don't come back and say, hey, I was wrong. I only heard part of it. And so for me, one of the things I'm adopting now in my own life is this. When I give my view on a situation, I'll say this. Based on the information I have now, this is what I believe. Based on what I know at this particular time, because guess what? More can come out later and I may change my mind. I want to be the wise person who just doesn't listen to the first person that comes, but wait to hear other sides of the story. 
I grew up with my grandfather and grandparents taking us all over the town. And then we always drove around town with them. And my grandfather wasn't like some of us. We want to entertain the kids. If we in his car, we listen to whatever he listened to, right? He listened to a lot of news talk. He listened to a lot of traffic radio stuff. But this one station he listened to would always tell this story, tell, tell stories. And I can't remember the guy's name. If you know the name, put it in the description below or put it in the comments below. But he would always end his stories by saying this. Now you know the rest of the story. And I want us to be believers who are willing to wait to hear the rest of the story before we get all riled up. Because as this proverb says, the first person to speak seems right until the other person comes to cross-examine them. Let's be people who are patient to hear the whole story before we jump on the bandwagon and give a whole lot of information that might not, might not be true because it's good for us and it's good for those around us. So thanks for watching. If you, uh, hey, if you like this, give us a thumbs up. If you got a comment, I would love to hear your comment below because um, we, we want to have a community where we can help each other live for God by connecting faith and life. Thanks for joining me.